after we have learned how to register accounts using Firebase, using email and password. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to log in with those accounts that we have been registered before. First, let's go to my stack and make some changes. I want to remove that header, that header because it's it looks bad and I want to make the first route is the login screen, not the sign up screen. Okay, so let's go to my stack. You can find it inside SRC navigation, my stack. And just let's cut that line and make it up here. Like that. And to remove that header, to remove that header, just add screen options. Header showing with false. Now we just need to reload our app. Now let's try to log in with our email and password. Let's go to login screen. Let's import our oath import oath from at React Native Firebase oath const login with email and password equals to function oath dot sign in with email and password and it takes two arguments and those arguments are the email and the password so let's add them statically right now for example an email like a a a a a and password a a a a two I know that's a not formatted email. I want to show errors and to console.log them using the then.catch. Let's, let's handle our callback promises. Response console.log the response and .catch error console dot log the error now let's make our button do that function during on press okay now let's try to fire or let's try to log in with that email aaa and password aaa and see the console login Look, invalid email. The email address is badly formatted. So let's add a valid email. For example, at gmail.com and save. Internal error has, has occurred. Please try again. That's because incorrect email or incorrect password. But I don't know why Firebase doesn't give us an error to indicate the error. So let's try to log in with an existing email. That's our users. We can get them. Just select your project and press on authentication and select that users. Okay, those are our users. I remember the password of that user. I remember it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try with it. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hear in that function. Alert dot alert. Logged in. with success message now let's try with an email and correct password and let's press login great success logged in so now let's make let's control our inputs i mean the email here and the password here let's control them using our user state so as we have done before in the sign up screen sign up screen Those are user state hooks. Just copy them and paste them here. Email and set email password and set password inside user state. 
and now let's go to our inputs to control them the first input the value of it is going to be the email and the second input the value is going to be the password when we change the text in the first input on change text we're going to set email to that text and here on a change text we're going to set the password to that text and up here let's remove our static values and add the email value and the password value now let's try let's clear the console let's press here the password is invalid the user does, doesn't have a password let's add first let's handle our errors let's make an alert to that errors alert dot alert error dot let's copy the native error message from here native error message and let's try when we press here the password is invalid or the user doesn't have a password we didn't enter anything so let's try to to enter our email the email was let's check it new one two new new one two at gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six when we press login yes success logged in and we get and we got here the data of the user and the the, the user id and the refresh token also so now we want to go to home screen when we log in successfully so let's add let's create a home screen home screen .tsx, and let's create a functional component okay and let's import it in our stack in my stack here let's duplicate that code we can duplicate it using shift and option and the arrow down okay let's make it home screen here and home screen here we can import from our screens okay so now we will log in successfully just navigate to home screen navigation let's add the property here first navigation dot navigate home screen and let's try now if we enter a bad password now we got an error message the password is invalid or the user doesn't have a password so let's try to add our password yes success login and we here in the login screen in the home screen let's just center line items to center felix of one see we are in the home screen let's try one more time if we enter a wrong password we got an error if we add the right password and press login we can successfully log in and go to home screen 